I heard about a special camp called Camp Adventure that meets for one week during the summer on beautiful Shelter Island, New York, from a friend of mine, Jim Kaplan, of the Gisela Group, a real estate private equity firm that had been sponsoring the camp for years. Jim wanted me to know that there was an incredible organization called Kids Need More that was doing something the world needed to know about. Well, our camp is, is kind of a unique camp. It's, a, it's an oncology camp, a camp for kids uh, who are coping with cancer and their siblings. And it's kind of unique in the way that we, uh, we actually take the cancer patients and the siblings so that the, uh, the parents actually have also that one week of kind of like respite to kind of like reconnect in their relationship or to take a break or even maybe take a vacation. Some of our kids' parents take a vacation the week that they hear a camp. David Lewis is a New York City police officer and Smithtown firefighter who spends his vacation days volunteering at the camp. There are cancer patients here, there are siblings here, and a lot of our staff don't even know who or who. And quite frankly, they don't even need to know because we want to treat everyone the same. And um, the, the, the kids just enjoy being able to come and just be themselves and be kids and, and be around people who kind of like who get it, who understand. I didn't know any other children with cancer, so coming to Camp Adventure was my first time ever getting to meet any other kids that I related to or I got to, like, knew what I was going through. It's so special, you know, you never come to camp with people that have the same issues, problems as you. You come to, you know, sleepaway camp, band camp, really, really, it's like, we're such a special camp that it means so much to me emotionally and mentally to have people like this. This is such a fun camp, it's like helps so many kids and including me, like, I didn't even know if I was like gonna like want to come back, but definitely want to come back. Camp originally started because there was some parents that had children that were coping with cancer, and they wanted they wanted something special for them. They wanted them to you know connect with each other. There's about 20 kids for the first season. That was 26 years ago. Melissa Firms is a camp co-founder who knows about the devastating effects of cancer all too well. Last summer. Um, a month after camp, I was diagnosed with, like, le with leukemia. I had never had cancer before. And um, I learned firsthand like, how important this community really is. I mean, I always believed in it. I believed in the mission of it. I'm the director and co-founder of Kids Need More. Um, but I didn't know that having this would be meaning never being alone, meaning that always having someone to talk to, meaning being able to go through treatments and have family with you every day. So coming to camp this year was my, what I was visualizing, what I was um, living for and moving for and fighting for. So the fact that I'm a camp director this year and um, had a stem cell transplant for my leukemia and able to be here um, is a very, very important year. The camp is an incredible thing, and in order to keep it going, it needs private donations. The cost to house and care kids with serious illnesses is enormous, and in recent years, the camp has had a scale back activities, including music. I knew just the right person to help me with this hookup, but the trick was, how do I get him to the island in the middle of his hectic schedule? Luckily, a company called Shoreline Aviation heard about what we were doing and generously volunteered their services. My friend and I would be arriving in style. When we saw that plane coming in, oh, the feeling, it was just like uh, amazing. And the, and the kids just got so excited. I was so flabbergasted when I saw his plane come in. Everyone was so ecstatic. When I saw his plane in the water, I, at first I didn't know who, like, who it was. I thought it was like a plane crash. I was like, oh no, like, I hope everybody's okay. We were better than okay. With Yankee legend Bernie Williams in tow, we were about to burn baby burn. We received an incredible welcome. It was clear from the first camper we met how much love there was here. Everybody here at camp has one, so I thought I'd welcome you with one. Thank you so much. It's a name that comes. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> um, sure. You're an honorary camper. Thank you. I depend on this camp. Like before I started coming here and had a blast, I was sad. Like, I thought, you know, why bother smiling anymore that my disease kind of took away everything because I used to play sports and be really happy. And this, the, this camp, it kind of made me feel happy again. When I'm in school, I always feel different than the rest of the kids because of what, what I have endured. But 
when I get to come here, I feel the same as everybody else, and it makes me feel good about myself. It's just an honor and a pleasure to be here with all of you today. Um, I'm Brandon Steiner from Steiner Sports, and you know Bernie Williams. Um, Camp, Camp Adventure. We had heard about your story here in this camp, so we're here today, but we're going to be back. Uh, from Jim Kaplan, who's here, and also um, Guitar Center. He's also been very supportive in trying to make what we're about to do to happen. But we're going to be back. We're going to kind of monitor this situation because we know Camp Adventure needs some help, some funds, uh, because all this camp really gets run by private donations. And our goal today was to shed a little light. And Bernie and I were talking. This is a gentleman who not only has been a very successful baseball player, but he has a tremendous passion and love for music. So we heard about this camp. We talked about maybe getting a music program going. And uh, Jim and uh, a couple of people from your camp were really influential in kind of pushing us. So I went to Bernie and said, Bernie, you know, this is a great opportunity. And uh, here we are today. So thank you for having us. And we hope this is the start of a great music program for your camp. And like I said, we're going to be back to hook you up even further. We're not going to forget about you. And uh, we have a little hookup for you because we want to get your music program. So Bernie came with his two daughters. Yes. And we have some gifts for you. So. Beatrice and Bianca. I have to take a second here and thank Guitar Center for donating the musical instruments. These gifts will change lives. A lot of kids who are musically inclined and who are uh, just interested in, in learning about music and so forth. And that's something that uh, our camp had been missing, and um, now we're able to start that program up. And we're just so thankful for that. This is something really special that's really needed. But if people don't step up to support kids need more, this could all go away. This is a community that will be there for you when you are getting treatment, after treatment, during treatment. And yes, we bring you to this camp, but camp, camp is just the catalyst to keep this whole community together. It's the glue. We see you after camp. We make sure that you are not alone. And that part is what kept me going, really helped me survive. And I, knowing firsthand, I know that that's what my kids tell me. We are such a, a tight-knit family and, and, and so close that um, the relationships that are built in this one week, you know, last a lifetime. You should support this camp with donation of whatever, because the amount of love that we all have here and we all want to come back next year is amazing. If, like, if you stayed a week here, you would see the smiles of everyone's faces. And for that to be continued, is just amazing and a blessing to everyone, to me, especially. I love this camp so much. I wish I had more time to physically give, to do more for these kids, because they've given me more than I've given them. And we're greatly indebted to, to Jim Kaplan and the Chase Seller Group for making this connection. We're solely funded by private donations, and, you know, that's what we need to survive. Without that, we don't have this. We don't have all this. I greatly urge all of you to donate whatever you can do to help these kids. After this amazing hookup, I got a few minutes to sit down with Bernie and catch up. Camp Adventure, what a hookup, what a day. Uh, your thoughts about this hookup and you know, coming out to Camp Adventure? It was great. I mean, the opportunity that I had, you know, to share some time with these kids. Uh, it was amazing. I mean, the, you see the, you know, how their faces, you know, lit up and they were so happy to be here and I uh, just watching a former Yankee and most of these kids weren't even born when I was playing, you know, and, and to see, you know, how, how tough they were and some of them I saw in their faces that they were going through some, you know, pretty big things, you know, going through in their, in, in their lives and uh, it was very inspirational. I was, I was so glad that I was able to do this. 
It's amazing, like, you know, we got this music program started. Might there be a third career here for you, maybe as a camp counselor, or you could see hanging out here for a couple of days. Uh, it, it'll be great. I mean, awesome. We all believe in the healing power of music and uh, how, you know, you know, such great things that music can do. It's part of my efforts, actually, uh, working with an organization called NAM, and we, every year, we go into Capitol Hill and we uh, lobby, you know, to you know, Congress people and senators about the importance of having music in the classrooms and uh, in little kids' lives, you know, and, and how important it is for the development as human beings. So this is, I'm all in on this. You're out of baseball. You seem very busy playing music. But what, what else? What else do you have going on? What else do you want to? You know, we have a lot of fans out there interested in knowing what you're, what's going on in your life. I'm going to be a senior at Manhattan School of Music. I'm pursuing a. a uh, bachelor's degree in jazz performance uh, and uh, after that I'm probably gonna put a band together and just go all on and you know, playing music hopefully I won't be able to I mean I won't be uh, touring 300 days out of the year to make a living but uh, I'll pick and choose all the things you know that I want to do that makes sense especially a lot of the charity and a lot of the things you know that make sense you know that, uh, that uh, are gonna be good for me to do uh, obviously things like this these kids they loved you today. It was oh, a big, it was a big pick me up. It was day. amazing. You know, I had my daughters here that came, and uh, you know, they were just, you know, uh, it was such a great thing to have because they don't get to do a lot of stuff with me. You know, they don't get to see, you know, me doing, you know, a lot of this stuff. Uh, but uh, I'm very glad that they were able to make it as well.